there was no agreement signed in Uganda during President Uhuru Kenyatta's state visit. There was no agreement that was signed. If there was one that was signed, it was definitely signed away from us. But a raging debate about quote-unquote the sugar deal has taken off in earnest. With his own signature, the president has turned the sugar industry into a lottery for Kenyan farmers. It opens doors for crooked business people and government officials who have the money and connections to import sugar from anywhere, give it a Ugandan label and dump it here in Kenya. The Ministry of Agriculture has however affirmed that the local farmers are unable to meet the nation's sugar consumption needs. Agriculture peer Cecily Kariuki says contrary to the opposition claims that Kenyan warehouses are overflowing with locally milled sugar, only around 5,000 metric tons of sugar are currently in stores, well below the country's annual consumption of 800,000 metric tons. We realize we have a deficit. You'd rather import from a commercial country. Uganda is a commercial country. It's an East African community country. It's our closest neighbor. We wish to make it clear that Uganda has no surplus sugar whatsoever. The Uganda Sugar Manufacturers Association 2014 annual report claims Uganda had joined a select few African sugar surplus countries. Its projected production will rise to over 508,000 metric tons this year against a projected consumption of around 360,000 metric tons. That would put Uganda sugar surplus at 148,000 metric tons. Kenya needs 97,000 metric tons from Uganda, nearly three quarters quarters of its surplus. We haven't seen the, the uh, copy of the agreement signed. As soon as an agreement uh, is negotiated, it is a public document. Uh, when it's signed, it becomes even more of a public document. The Ministry of Agriculture says the uproar about the sugar deal is unfounded as there is nothing new about the Kenya-Uganda trade talks. In fact, the two countries have an intergovernmental working committee that often meets over shared trade interests. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen Live at Nine.